Girl, they is jamming in the doctor's office. So listen. Hey, girl. So listen. It's time for me to go to the gynecologist. And I really don't know what we're doing today. Um, I just need to talk to them about some things. And I'm nervous. I have a pit in the bottom of my stomach. Um, but I am going to manifest this being one of the best gynecological experiences I've ever had in my life. I'm going to speak that into existence. I'm going to go to the doctor's office. Everything is going to be very easy i'm gonna find it easily i'm gonna have a good positive experience no shenanigans the one thing that i'm aggravated about is that i was supposed to fill out paperwork before i got there right and i just went online to try to um print the paperwork out but unfortunately bay says that our printer is not working bay yeah. do we need a new printer or do we just need more ink or what Babe, why not just buy another printer? Maybe you going to try to get the printer fixed? We'll do whatever's going to be least expensive. Okay. So, um, I'm sitting here watching YouTube. That's what I'm always doing. And I just finished uploading a video. I just finished. I'm showered. I'm not naked. YouTube, do not do me. Don't do me, YouTube. Don't you do me, because YouTube does like to do that. So, I have to show y'all that I'm not naked, so they won't be on that BS. Um, but anyways, I just got out of the shower. I'm going to put on my lotion, my perfume. I think today is going to be a Lancome day. I think I'm going to wear um, Adelaide, Adelaide. And I'm going to wear my pumpkin um, lotion from Trader Joe's. I love it. Um, I love that it's so easy to like seep into my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on and get something very easy and simple. Like I'm not trying to dress to kill. I'm trying to just literally get dressed easily and simply so I can go. Probably polka dots or just something simple. Um, and I'll see y'all in a minute, okay? Hey girl. It's about, I'm supposed to be there at 1.30. And I think it's about five minutes to one. Um, I just had a panic attack. And I didn't really realize what it was. I thought I wasn't feeling good. I had did my hair really pretty. I spent all this time doing my hair. And then all of a sudden, my head started pounding. And I started feeling myself get hot and I'm like oh my god what's wrong with me and then that's when God was like Joy you having a panic attack so I had to take my wig off which but then I do my hair yeah you did been working on it for an hour <laughs> I did my hair and then boom I wasted all that time because I end up just tying my hair up with a scarf and that's the thing, like, people don't understand that they be like, oh, I can't watch her because she can't even take time to do her hair. It's like, ugh, I did take time to do my hair, but look, I still ended up in a scarf because I started getting a headache. It took an hour yesterday to get your hair ready, then it got rained on when you get to the Hollis Gardens. Yeah, but at least I got to wear it. I did my hair, you know. It's just frustrating. But anyway, today's going to be a very positive day, so... Let's just talk. Let's go ahead and talk about all the things that went wrong so we can get that shit out the way and we don't have to talk about it anymore. First of all, I was supposed to do my paperwork ahead of time, but baby says that something is wrong with the, um, the print heads um, are not um, the printers messed up. The printers messed up, so I couldn't print anything and I wasn't going to pay to uh, go to the library and print stuff when I could just do it there. So that kind of frustrated me. Um, but hey, it happens. Then I couldn't find what I wanted to wear. 
um i couldn't find my bra even though i had everything laid out <laughs> i couldn't find my bra i couldn't find the sweater top of the jacket that i wanted to wear i wanted to look nice i don't know i just i like to look nice when i go to the doctor because i feel like you need to be nice and look nice and be clean i don't know they treat you different you know so but i end up wearing this dress <coughs> and um i didn't get to change my pocketbook out but i mean all of that stuff is just superficial stuff right but I, at least i did realize that i was having a panic attack and that i'm okay because sometimes you don't know that that's what's going on or you forget you know like if you go a long period of time without having one you, you tend to forget that you're having one and then while you're having one you're thinking something else is wrong when it's not so i had to just take deep breaths and what i actually did that actually worked for me was i put um vitamin c i start chewing on vitamin c gummies for whatever reason that took my panic attack away i don't know why but i just was like let me put something in my mouth for whatever reason that helped so anyway onward and upward and onward we're on our way to dr nixon's office today we're gonna see the um the arnp the nurse practitioner South Florida. yes it's on south florida so i'm gonna get off of here you guys and get the directions up and kind of just rest my nerves um while i'm on my way got my water i hope you guys are having an amazing day listen even though i am a advocate for facing your fears i still get very much afraid and i'm having panic and i know that once i get to the doctor's office everything's gonna be fine you know i'm still a little bit afraid of the row row like y'all it's just a lot i'm gonna wash my hands i'm gonna take my hand sanitizer i'm gonna wear my mask everything's gonna be okay i'm gonna get to the doctor's office i'm gonna tell them what i need and they're gonna take you know they're gonna take care of me if they don't take care of me or they don't do what I feel like is good, I'm going to go to another doctor and it's okay. And I deserve $50. I mean, it's going to cost $50 for me to take care of myself as an investment in myself. I deserve that. So, whatever. Anyway, bye y'all. Okay, y'all. I made it here, I think, but I'm not sure. I'm a little lost and I don't know if this is the right place. So let's see. I'm not sure. I don't know. Pray for me, girl. Here. Where? Oh, okay. Not supposed to be with her, supposed to be with the oh, ARP. Yeah. Yes. Ma'am, I just got real lost. Okay, <laughs> and if you told me that, I was going to have to go. <laughs> oh, to the north side. Yeah. No. Okay, okay. 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 That's what oh. I was like, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's my what, ID? Um, yes, ma'am, I have both the ID and insurance card. Oh, okay. There's that. Just fill it out for me, honey. Whenever you're done, spring back up, okay? Okay. Thank you. No problem. Uh, I'm going to see through Noah. Yeah, there's one. I'll just see through no arms. No arms. That's it right here. Okay. One thing about it, Dr. Nixon is the best. How old were you when you got 
Yeah. November the 10th, 1998. Um, yeah, have you ever had to pass one before? <sighs> Let's say no. I, I say no. They gonna make me do one today? is jamming in the doctor's office. So listen, I gotta be quick. I'm gonna put this on. Okay, so let me take my clothes off. I'll be back. Here we go, girl. I don't know if I'm gonna need help getting up there or what. But... Okay, so I end up doing my annual today. <sighs> we'll talk about it when I get in the car. Let me let them know I'm done putting my clothes on. Now, am I going to hear from them about what we did today, or am I not going to hear until I go back to the actual appointment? Um, if she did any sort of cultures or anything like that, usually it takes about a week for the results to come back in, but you would hear something within okay. a, week, a week to 10 days. Is that here? Or is that... Oh, here? Okay, great. You'll never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me. Here's the deal when you're not here. I'm missing. Okay, so trigger warning. I'm about to talk about the gynecologist. If you don't want to hear about my feet being up in stirrups and the gynecologist, I would strongly recommend you click off this video. So, went to the gynecologist. Of course, you guys, it was very awkward and I could not, you know, film my legs up in the air. I would have liked to I would have liked to film the things that the gynecologist was saying, but I didn't get but she was she was the ARMP. She was very, very nice. Her name was Deanne. I accidentally called her Donna. I apologize. The nurse also that attended me, her name was Nisha. She was absolutely the best, one of the best people that I've ever experienced in my entire life. Like literally, it was a, if I were to rate the experience on a scale from one to 10, even though they had to stick foreign objects in my coochie, even with that, I would give it a strong eight. A strong eight. Let's talk about a few things. First of all, I had to put on a gown. The gown was actually too big for me. 
um which i was so surprised it fit my arms you guys it fit me with no problems so i didn't have to worry about that um i was able to easily get up and off the table i felt like they didn't make me feel uncomfortable because i needed a little bit of extra help they were very encouraging the thing that I really liked about the nurse practitioner is that I felt like she was, she talked me through things. Um, and she was like, okay, I'm going to do this now. I'm about to do this now. Okay, this is all that this is going to happen. So that was really nice. Um, I didn't, I mean, it made me feel very uncomfortable, of course, having foreign objects stuck up in my stuff. But basically what I got was my annual. So I got my pap. They said that I need to have a pap every three to five years, which is what I thought it was. But in this instance, she said that they do it every three years. So I'll be have after 30. So once you're 30, it's every three to five years, I believe. But she said they do it every three years. So that way everyone's on, you know, not some people five years, some people whatever. So, of course, she came with the, um, if you are insulin resistant, that that can interrupt your cycle. Um, but I don't feel like she was being mean or rude or she was saying it in a negative way or in a type of way to make me feel some type of way. I feel like she was just informing me. Um, she gave me some options. She said that Dr. Nixon may want to get some lab work but I really need to get a primary care doctor, which we already know. Um, so I'm gonna be on the lookout for a primary care doctor between now and my follow-up. Now, trigger warning, this may be gross because I'm about to talk about my vagina. So if my vagina makes you uncomfortable, you may not wanna watch this damn video. Lo and behold, this is a gynecological review. So if you have a problem hearing but vaginal issues, hearing about vagina, hearing about your period, hearing about endometrial situations, about your cervix, about your uterus, then this shit may not be for you. Watch, I still get somebody in the comments. Just watch, I just want y'all to watch, watch. Okay, so I just recently had my monthly cycle. I had my cycle ended literally, today is the what? the 13th my cycle probably ended yesterday or the day before my cycle ended the day before yeah so my cycle ended the day before she told me that i had a very small discharge that could be associated with the fact that my cycle just ended um the reason what triggered me to going to the doctor was hold on a minute Mommy, who do your nails? Uh, Chantel. Where's she? She got a car? Let me see. They're so pretty. What's she doing? Chantel Hernandez. She's doing at her house. Oh. Um, okay, what's her What's her name on Facebook? It's um, Chantel C. C-H-A-N. Her nails look so good, Chantel. Y'all remember that. Chantel Hernandez. Shout out to you, girl. But anyway, so the thing that um triggered me to wanting to go to the gynecologist is because I was having irregular menstruation. So, and I literally, my entire life, I've never had any issues with my menstrual cycle. You can set your clock by it. Every 28 days, I have a menstrual cycle that works. Thank you, Chris. Okay. Um, oh, you got me a new ISO? New ISO. Every 28 days, I have a menstrual cycle that comes without any problems. I never have any issues with it. I never have any, <coughs> excuse me, inter interruptions in my cycle or anything like that. However, starting about a year ago, my cycle was extremely heavy and then I would go two months without it and then I would have it and it'd be very heavy and a lot of pain on my left side of my, my stomach, like more than my other side. And so that was very concerning to me as to why I would be in that kind of pain like that. And so, and missing my period. So this, so most recently I went two months without a cycle. And then when I did have a cycle, it was extremely small, like literally one day, one hour, and then it went away. Then shortly following that, 
I had a cycle that lasted seven days instead of my normal four to five day cycle, menstrual cycle. So I was concerned. And so I said, you know what? This is going on long enough. Let me carry my ass over here to the gynecologist and have them check it and see what's going on. So we took a pap. Um, in addition to the pap, you know, we took something in regards to checking for the HPV. I, she explained it, but y'all, I, I don't know. And so we will find out um, by my next appointment what the doctor says and i also will let y'all know um when i go see dr nixon what dr nixon says but okay y'all so babe how you feel about all that sounds like a plan sounds good Wait, are you were you listening i was okay sounds good. okay so how do you feel about me going to the gynecologist that's, that's a good thing very good you proud of me? Absolutely. But how you feel about it? Do you feel like I take care of myself? Absolutely. Most definitely. The more, the better. The more I take care of myself, the better. Mm -hmm. You gonna drink the rest of my water? Just give me a couple sips. Can I ask you a question? For those of you who have a spouse, why your spouse won't get their own damn drink? I did, but I didn't open it yet. But you had to drink mine. I and you know I cannot stand for you to drink after me. But yet you do it anyway. I can't stand it. Do I drink after you? Yeah. No, I don't, baby. When do I ever drink after your drinks? You always, when? You always eat half my food. Well, that's not. You always like to pick on my plate. I do pick off your plate. You do? So I didn't think Man, I you pick off my plate too. Every now and then. I can't even pick. I can't even pick out of your. You know, if I pick anything out of yours, my fingers you get mad at me though. I don't want it. I don't like you touch. Don't put your hand in my food. <laughs> I don't like that, Chris. We was just raised different. Mm. My mama didn't play that. We don't. She was like, we ain't poke. You don't eat off each other's plate. And I don't eat off your plate. I ask you, can I have a piece of something? Mm. And I let you give it to me. I don't put my little crummy fingers all digging them, dirt, digging them down in your food, contaminating it. Okay. What? Why are you laughing? You always laughing, Chris, because you know you be with that bullshit and watch. Somebody gonna be so mad. Ooh, look at my lip. I'm not laughing, babe. My lip got like that when I used the new lipstick. Really? Has anybody ever had that experience where when you use a new lipstick, your lips get crusty? Yeah, dog it, huh? Well, we had a dinner. Where you wanna go? Going to lunch. Okay, you wanna eat? I'm not really that hungry yet, but I mean, what do you think? Bye, y'all.